Hello, my name is Trout McCausland, and this is my presentation for the selling of Joseph at Memorial, 1700. Samuel Sewell was born March 28, 1652, in Bishop Stoke, Hampshire, England. His father went to Massachusetts in 1635, where he met Samuel's mother. Then they later, later sailed back to England. The Sewell family decided to move to Massachusetts permanently in 1661, where he grew up, until he eventually died. He entered Harvard in 1667, and then in 1681 he became the official printer of the Massachusetts colony. Uh, he was also a judge during the Salem Witch Trials, which is what he's most famous for. Uh, later he regretted the Salem Witch Trial. He confessed that the evidence was circumstantial and that he made mistakes. Uh, he remained involved with politics and law in Massachusetts until his death. Uh, he later became a liberal writer and protested slavery. Uh, he wrote The Selling of Joseph in 1700, and then he eventually died in January 1st, 1730. Uh, Massachusetts in the 1700s, you know, it was a growing colony. It became known as the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. It was founded in 1620. Eventually, it was called the Plymouth Rock by the settlers from the Mayflower. But large-scale Puritan migration began in 1630. And around the, after that, African slaves were brought in. Massachusetts became a royal province in 1692. And Massachusetts continued to keep slaves in, well until it was abolished in 1783. Uh, the article, The Selling of Joseph, was written to protest slavery. Uh, Sewell, he compared the slave trade to the, uh, the biblical story of Joseph, where Joseph's brothers became jealous of him due to his uh, favor with his father. So they ended up selling him for 20 pieces of silver, which was a bad thing to do. And he later uh, escaped slavery. Uh, Sewell quotes the Bible several times to make his point. And um, he uses the quotes to show the hypocrisy, since the Bible is all about understanding. And it, it mostly says that people are equal. But no part of the Bible says that taking people out of their their country to serve others, no part of that really uh, qualifies that. And the quotes I picked for the selling of Joseph, and all things considered, it would conduce more to the welfare of the province to have white servants for a term of years than to have slaves for life. Sewell makes a valid point that indentured servants would make more sense in capturing Africans for labor for life. Joseph was rightfully no more a slave to his brethren than they were to him, and they had no more authority to sell him than they had to slay him. So here he's using the Bible to point out the moral failings of slavery. And uh, these are all direct quotes. They said and he used the Bible, essentially. Why does this matter today? Well, it took over 80 years after this article before Massachusetts abolished slavery in 1832, or 1732, or 1782, sorry. Um, he was very smart. He used the Bible to get through the colonists because the colony was formed by Puritans first, so they almost all had the same background and upbringing and so that was a way to kind of unify them and it it spoke to their moral background and their moral center so we believe like doing using that bible he could get through to them and hopefully expose their hypocrisy and make some change possible and i think this is similar to what's happening with the uh, the black lives matter protests because and i think in a lot of the other bigotry we have right now in the U.S. where 
a lot most people know that racism and bigotry isn't really accepted it's not it's not gone it'll never be gone but if we speak out about it instead of trying to cover it up or try to downplay it we can do more to help everyone instead of just a few which i think is really what black lives matter is about it's about letting keeping the moral morals for the entire country and not just not just white people not just rich people but everyone um i I had a hard time finding any videos really on this particular um article uh mostly when i look up samuel sewell's in general everything i found is about the witch trial that's what he's mostly known for he um Although I think that that's part of it. I think that has a lot to do with why he decided to do, to go against slavery, to write against it, because he knew he made mistakes with witch trials. So I think that made him more introspective and made it to where he wanted to try to be better. Like he repented, knew he made mistakes, wanted to get over that and help everyone. And then my questions for anyone reading watching this is is it better to point out society's hypocrisy even when change may take 80 years like it did for Sewell and can we move past horrible mistakes such as the witch trials to accomplish greater things and maybe get a better redemption anyway that concludes my presentation thank you bye